the No Sex Club is acting like anyone cares. So guys, you have a bunch of women right now that it's seemingly growing. Again, not as big and fast as they thought it would. But nonetheless, there's enough videos out there with women talking about, I'm not going to have sex with my husband or my boyfriend for the next four years. And then there are women saying, I'm not going to date men for the next four years. That's not saying they won't date women. Whatever. Do what you like. No one cares. Because the simple fact, guys, a lot of these women are shaving their heads, bald, holding signs that say, no sex. Good for you, you retard, because no one would touch you anyway. Because you guys look like fucking white milk duds with no fucking shape of the body. A lot of you women are ugly as shit. You guys are uglier than the day is long. No one cares. No one gives a shit. There is nobody on this planet right now that's like, oh my God, no, I won't have sex with you. Some of the guys, well, if the guys are beta males, they might agree with their, their girlfriends. Okay, honey, I won't have sex with you for four years. And sit idly by and wait to not have sex for four years. There are guys out there that will do it. Because nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing. I know there's a guy out there right now with his beta, you know, his beta self, with his ugly ass girlfriend, still wearing a mask while they're inside their home watching Netflix. They Netflix and chill with their mask on. I know it's, it's got to be. It's got to be out there because at this point, nothing is going to surprise me. And these women who are sitting there talking about, I'm not going to have sex. So they don't have fucking sex. No one cares. The 4B movement nonsense, the, yo, have fun with it. Off to the races you go because no one gives a shit. And yet they keep posting shit online. They act like they're doing something. They act like this is like a, like a legitimate fight. They act like Donald Trump or some politician is going to be like, oh my God, you see what they're doing? You see this? We have to give them their respect. No one gives a fuck. Just because you post it online, just because you get a couple more morons to join you in your fight, doesn't mean people care. What it means is that we're all looking at you, we're all laughing, and then we're moving on with our lives. Because I can guarantee you this part in history is going to get shoved to the side because no one fucking cares. We're going to remember the psychosis that came along with it. And maybe in a psychology school somewhere, mental health school, they're going to talk about this moment. But that's it. But for the rest of the world, we're just going to go on accordingly. Now, a lot of these women were saying, I don't understand. It were like, men don't deserve our vaginas. But I'm like, there's so many other women out there. So many other women. There's so much vagina out there. You could throw a rock and hit ten of them. And these women think that they're the that the world evolves around them. Ha they, that has to be the thinking for these women to think that because they're going to hold, withhold sex and dating and affection with men, that they're the only women on this planet. That's the stupid thing about this whole nonsense. That's like a guy thinking he's the hottest man in the world. Yeah, that would be like me thinking I'm the hottest guy in the world and, and everybody thinks I'm hot. Look at me. That doesn't, doesn't work that way. There are fucking, there's always somebody better looking than you. There's always somebody else that's going to give you what you want. Always. So if these women want to grow old and alone and depend on their cats and their toys, so be it. So the fuck be it. But I take issue with this is because this is a reaction from people who lost an election. This election doesn't even affect them like that. Like they, they're, they're lashing out worse than they're being affected. Like I could see if we legitimately had a authoritarian leader, like a Hitler, you know, like we had something with Stalin. We had somebody like that, then lash out and do shit like that. And then, and then even then take it a step further than withholding sex from men. That's where you like, you, you draw the line and you make a stand. Because Donald Trump became president, and he's not even paying attention to you. He's not going to do anything that's going to affect you. And yet these women are acting like retarded children. They're running around licking glass and banging their heads against the wall because they're that mad. You know, I mean, like, the, the, the insanity of the reaction is what I'm having an issue with. I'm like, but why are they behaving like this? And I get it because they're, they're liberals. But they're shaving their heads. They're withholding sex, so you're going to expect your boyfriend 
Which again, I know there's a boy, there's a guy out there that will do this, but a man won't do that. It has gotten even so bad that women are divorcing their husbands. Again, there were a few women that divorced their husbands the first time Trump won. This time around, it's seemingly being that there are more women leaving their boyfriends and divorcing their husbands. So that means, that you mean to tell me you're going to end a 15, 20, 30 year marriage because somebody voted for Trump? It's happening. I thought I heard of a case of a lady, a couple that was married for 25 years, and she kicked her husband out of the house and told him not to come back. So be it. And if your wife can do that to you, your marriage wasn't happy at all. There is no happiness in that marriage if your wife is willing to throw away 25 years over who you voted for. That means she was looking for a reason, and that was her reason. Nobody's that fucking... I like, again, if you guys are happy and together, she's not going to do it. She might be mad at you for a couple days, and then she'll move on. But anybody who's willing to destroy a marriage and a happy home and a family was never happy with you and didn't like that fucking home, and they were just looking for an exit strategy. Other than that, guys, this is The Angry Proper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth channel.